Yeah, my name's Ryan, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at my game. Uh, a little bit unfinished at the moment, but yeah. So I'll go ahead and play this in the Unity project, um, as it's easier than creating a separate build with a lower volume, just to be able to record my voice over the top. Um, so this is the start menu. I haven't actually got a game title yet, which is absolutely great. Uh, but we have some functions here, so we can we can press play to start at the beginning of the game. Press continue um, to start on the level that we were last on. So if we had the actual build up, um, we could play, get up to level seven maybe, and decide we don't want to play anymore. We'll play it later. Um, and obviously the player prefs will save that. Once you come back, press continue and start at level seven with however many lives you had from the previous session. Um, we've also got level select. Uh, to go to that, choose which level you want to go to. There's only 10 levels at the moment, so that's that. We've got controls here to tell you how to play. Uh, I do have an options button there, which does nothing at the moment. I haven't actually added any options. And we also have the quit button to quit out of the application. Obviously it doesn't work at the moment because we're just in the Unity build, but the Unity editor, sorry. Uh, so I'll go ahead and in fact, I'll go through the level select as the player just takes us straight to the, the play just takes us straight to level one. So we'll just go level select, and you can see it's a really basic level select screen at the moment. But yeah, like if I click on number ten, it takes me to the last level, etc., etc. So I just click on level one and start going through it. So this is the character. Um, it's supposed to be a robot, and you're the last last robot that's left that hasn't gone insane. Uh, and started locking up humans. Um, so there's two modes to this player. Uh, there's a scooter mode where you, you know you go left and right quite fast, but you can't really jump too high, and you can only just really make it over these little ledges. Uh, and you can you can press space to switch, or you go into a pogo mode. And why isn't he auto jumping? That is amazing. I have to look at that script in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to uh, hop along as if you were on a pogo, regardless of what buttons you're pressing. Um, but if you jump, you then do like a higher jump instead. So he would he would do about half half of this jump. Um, but yeah, that's obviously not working quite a bit at the moment for some unknown reason. Um, so yeah, each level has a timer, which you can see at the top right here. You've got score, you've got health, a timer. Uh, and the amount of lives. The, the amount of lives is ridiculously high at the moment because the Unity editor doesn't reset the lives. Um, so, yeah. Um, I've got the controls up on the left at the moment. That was just for... Um, just was sort of like a, a pre... pre sort of release build. Like, might as well have the controls up there while other people are playing it. Well, it's not supposed to be like a fully fledged game. Um, but if I go back down here, once you're in pogo mode, obviously you jump higher, but you move slower. So like, if I'm if I jump, I move across the screen. I can make it all the way across, pretty much there. But if I if I do this, then I, d I don't quite make the distance quite so far. But I jump higher. Um, so if I if I do if I switch in midair, I can. Uh, make it a lot further as well as jump higher um, which that's supposed to be sort of the the core mechanic in this one um, yeah <laughs> uh, obviously once you go through this portal it takes you to the next level um, I didn't get around to doing any animations for this game um, which which would have made it look a, a lot nicer um, yeah. um, we've got a checkpoint system I forgot to mention that um, so obviously at the start of every level there's going to be a checkpoint so that you know that, well the game knows that once once you die this is where you should respawn to. Um, I don't think I added it to the first three levels or two levels because you can't actually die so there was no point in, in putting it up there. Um, but yeah for this this gap here we can see if I, if I jump I'm not going to quite make it unless I, uh, unless I switch in midair. And then, then I can make it. You know, um, the 
the auto jump is supposed to make it harder for you to press, like to actually jump, and you have to actually time it properly. So it'd be every once you land back on the ground, and the object knows that you're grounded, um, it would count down from 0 0.2 seconds, and then it would start auto jumping, like hopping along at about half of that height. Um, but yeah, like you, you, you literally had 0 0.2 seconds from when you were grounded to when you would jump again and you wouldn't be able to pull off your, your big jump. Um, so it would really sort of like warrant skillful timing um, to sort of add to that sort of platforming. Oh, I ran out of time, that's nice. And for some reason those menus are still... Oh, this <laughs> that game over menu screen. Oh out time menu screen is still not centered properly I don't know why um, so I'll just pretty much run through these levels um, talk about the enemies that will now start to come up so this is just a standard enemy um, colored in a darker sort of gray so that the player knows that he's an enemy colored in his eyes red makes it pretty clear he's gonna hurt you um, this one's just just moves left to right and that's about it if he collides with you then you, you get hurt you see the health just changed to four um, and yeah that's pretty much all he does <laughs> if you jump on his head there you, you kill him it's not very strong um, so I think in the next level we've got a couple more enemies to look at so we've got this one over here he moves left to right a certain amount um, also, oh, well, after he's moved that certain amount of distance, say to the left, then he'll change direction to the right and then go that way until he's reached the certain amount of distance he's supposed to go. Um, can't actually kill those ones, it's sort of to make it a bit more harder, seems though like the character can jump so high and you know you can, you can sort of just like jump over these enemies and just skip them. So I try to make it a little bit harder. Um, here's another enemy that likes to jump. Um, he just just jumps along. If you if you get if you collide with this one, you get hurt. Apart from there, for some reason. Um, so that's a nice little bug to look at later. Um, again, if you jump on this one's head, he, he dies straight away. Uh, this is a, another variation of the same enemy, the left to right one. Apart from he goes up and down. Um, but yeah, there's not much else to say about that dude. You can't kill him either. So. But obviously, once you collide with him, you uh, you get hurt and knocked back, like like you saw on the other two enemies. Um, so here is the one-way platforms that we got going. Used uh, an effector on the platform to allow it really easily, really easily set that one up. Um, so we got a couple standard enemies here. Um, this enemy just does not like to work. In the build, he works fine, um, but he just doesn't like to. Not not in the, not in the build. Um, whenever you play levels before this one, he doesn't work. But if you play just that level, he works in the Unity and It's really weird. I don't know what's quite going on with him. Um, so I might get another prefab and put in there. Um, so we've got this enemy here um, that likes to slam down on you, uh, and if he touches you, you pretty much die instantly. Like that, you're just dead. Um, it was a, it was really challenging to code that for some reason. Um, I think I, I went a bit overboard on how complicated it was going to be. Um, put too much stuff in there that just didn't quite make sense and I couldn't make heads or tails of it. And after I looked at it again, like the following day, it literally took me about two minutes to go, oh, this is what actually needs to be there. And yeah, so I spent about five hours making that on the on the foot on the day I was actually trying to make it, and then it took two minutes to fix it. It was a bit silly, really. Um, oh, I ran out of time. There we go. I've been talking way too long there. Quickly make it over back to where we were. I have no idea why. Ah, uh, no, I know why. Um, the starting timer for him to slam down I think is set to 10 seconds 
so that like if you if you are at a checkpoint um, actually I don't know why you didn't oh because I reloaded the level because it was um, the timer ran out so down here we got a nice little trap <laughs> where I've nicely placed uh, an arrow there to pretend to the player they should go down there when they really shouldn't. Um, we've got some more enemies just in the way of you and a life pickup that I just picked up. Um, I think there's another one down here so we'll just go down there and have a look at it. It's just like a shrunken down uh, image of the player just you know that's pretty much every single game has that as like a, a life pickup. Uh, if, if, if any of them have a live pickup that is so it's just sort of standard to do that um, so we've got another new enemy here uh, one that shoots bullets at you he I've coded him so that he stops whenever whenever oh I killed him now <laughs> that was terrible uh, coded him so he stops moving once once you're within a certain range of him I think the radius is 50 so if you're 50 to the left or 50 to the right of him only on the X coordinate then he'll stop moving and um, just start shooting. I can't actually get up there without killing him. Um, so I also coded it so that he shoots bullets randomly between 1 and 5 seconds um, just to make it a bit more of a challenge for the player to sort of, you know, they can't time it and definitely jump over the bullet, they have to sort of react to that. Um, oh dear, I died. <laughs> I only had one health left. Um, we'll get we'll quickly get back over there. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, yeah, so we've got some more slam enemies here. Obviously, if you touch the top of them as well, they still kill you, um, which is something I didn't want to happen really. But I haven't haven't really got time to f sort of fix that. Uh, so we've got a bit more of a challenging level here. So it's, it's all about making sure that the player gets the timing down, uh, ready for like the, the later levels, although this is nearly one of the last levels I think I have, so um, yeah, sort of making sure the player knows to, to get the positioning and the timing right, uh, make sure they've got the skill to get you know to the next levels, make sure they can actually do them. Um, I think all of these all of these enemies that move along the floor as well, uh, like like the jumping one and the standard one, um, they all have like edge checks and wall checks, um, just to make sure they're not going off an edge. If they're going off an edge, they'll change direction. Um, if they're hitting a wall, they'll then change direction. Even these uh, enemies down here and the left to right ones also have those um, applied to them as well. So that it's like if they hit a wall, they'll bounce straight off and start travelling in the other direction. Um, so I was a bit evil here. I made sure that the player has like the patience to sort of, of wait. Um, and the skill, like they've got the movement down so they know what they're doing sort of thing. Ready for the next level which is uh, quite, quite a sight. At least I think it's the next level. So we go down here. Nice little trap there for the players if they don't know where they need to go. So now, now we're on to the boss, <laughs> which is a fun little thing to play. Uh, so I've... no, I don't know why that's not working. That's that's fantastic. But basically, what happens? Um... Oh dear! Oh dear! I'm definitely going to die. I think. Yep. Yeah. Um, so basically, what happens is <laughs> once once you've jumped on the head of the player uh, of the boss, he splits into two pieces, um, and then those pieces also split into two pieces each until they get down to um, to a certain size, I believe it is. So once they get down to, I think below one scale because uh, that boss starts off at, with a five point something scale so he sort of, obviously once he once he splits he goes down to 2.5 then down to 1.25 uh, then after that you know, he's, he can't spawn anymore or no, no, he spawns another lot which then go to 0 point 
six something six m5 uh, and then after that he can't spawn any more out of him so they'll just you know, die off and then there'll be none of them left uh, there was a wall around here somewhere i think about here um and i got a script on it to to search the scene for um any object that has the boss's behavior script on it uh, obviously once there's none of those left in the in the scene oh dear now we get to see the wall again um yeah <laughs> that, that that disappears once there's none of them left in the scene which we should see here if they stop jumping i've also got the jump and the bullets for this enemy set to um just be a random value between one and five each time uh, just add a bit more like a variety to to the enemies so one, once there's like 10 of them you know they're not all jumping at the same time and it's all a bit weird and all of them shooting bullets at you at the same time because um, definitely a part of that is if they all shoot bullets at you at the same time uh, once you get hit by one of them you take obviously one damage uh, and after taking that one damage you you have like invincibility for about a second or half a second um, sort of had a bit of a glitch where if the bullets collided with you they'd end up taking like two three four damage off of you and it just really depended on the time like at that time just randomly choose one of those values like two three or four and it would never do one damage um, so the only way to sort of work around that was giving the player invincibility as soon as they um yeah as soon as they got hit and took damage sort of thing so um yeah that's all of the all of the levels i have at the moment uh, it goes to the credit screen after you finish um and then straight back to the game title not the game title the, the start menu um and then i'm not sure if i've coded that yeah i've coded it so that if um if you have a game over or if you uh reach the credit screen um, it will then make sure that the, the current scene is obviously the, the start menu uh, and then if you try and press continue obviously you've either had a game over or you've completed the game so there is no continue as it were it's just you'd either start a new game or you go to level select um, so I'll just, just go to a random level and show you the pause menu. Um, so as we can see the time has stopped. I've made sure to set the time scale to zero whenever you're inside the pause menu. Um, yeah, once you unpause obviously the time starts going down again. Um, so we've got a couple options here. We've got resume, uh, controls and options which are not working at the moment because I haven't added, added them in. Um, but we've got a quit to main menu and a quit to desktop uh, thing there so obviously if we click quick to make quit to main menu we'll go straight back to the start menu um, and if we click quit to desktop if we were in the application um, we would just quit to the desktop and the game would close down for us um, so yeah just quit to the main menu and show you the continue function which is currently not working because I don't know why um, because time scale is equal to zero that'd be why I don't know why that's a thing That was working earlier. Everything's everything is breaking. Once I'm trying to tell everyone what I'm doing with my life, um, I'll have to look at that later as well. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, um, that is interesting. I know exactly why that is. Let's have a look here. Oh, oh! I did not want to do that. Let's unpause that. Unplay even. Look at one of these scripts, which would be time management. I'm pretty sure once you... It's not this one, it's... Uh... It's that one, isn't it? No, it's not that one. It is UI. It's not UI, because it's pause menu. That'll be it. Ah... <laughs> <sighs> That's it. Alright, so time dot time scale equals one. That would be good to put in there. There we go, that fixes that issue. <laughs> so now if we press play 
level select onto level 6, pause, quit to main menu, and then level select to level 8 or whatever. Now we can play straight away. That's why. Fantastic. Um, I wonder if that c continue works now. I don't know why it wouldn't would stop working just because of that, but quit to main menu, continue. Right, so that will be. I don't want that, thank you. That will be because of something inside of the start menu, I imagine. Do, 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 do. Otherwise, it will be in the level manager. That's all just buttons and canvas. <laughs> Current lives, da da da, get in current level. I'm pretty sure that is edited on the level manager. Current lives, current level, set in at start, took the current level. Is the current level set before it? It is. Uh, I haven't got a level manager in the start menu, have I? That would be a bit silly, wouldn't it? I do not. So why is this having a hissy fit, then? Go away. Um. Hmm. I actually have no idea why that's not working. Hmm. Yeah, it's nothing to do with that at all. Current loan, blah blah blah. If we copy this, go over to the pause menu. Just make sure that goes in there. We probably actually want that underneath time scale, just in case. I don't know. Just in case that messes with it some more. Not that it should, but just in case. All compiler errors, yay! But I do. That would uh, that would be a thing, wouldn't it? Do 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 do. Oh, public food, no, int, tint, in fact, uh, current level, level equals, uh, application or load level. There we go. Oh, it was that. It was not functioning there. Why is that not working? Current level. I think it does, mate. It doesn't, because there's not. <laughs> oh, good old spelling mistakes. Right. I don't know why that would start working randomly now, but maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I literally cannot think of another way why that would not be working. Right, so we've loaded this level. That should be fine. Quit to the main menu. And continue. Why is that not working? The only other thing is... Do -do 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 -do, continue button. The list is empty. That might be why. Just, just saying, that might be why. Right. <laughs> ah... There we go, that should, uh, that should be it, really. Yeah, there we go. It was as simple as that. So, I pretty much got everything working now, apart from that auto-jump feature, um, which I'm going to take a look at next. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my game. Um, I plan to do a lot more than that. Um, unfortunately, I, I focused a lot more on the other two modules I had this semester, um, which, yeah, was, was kind of unfortunate for this project, and probably going to suffer on marks for that but 
hey ho, um, that's how it is. Uh, but yeah, thank you for taking the time to watch this, and uh, have a great day.